Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 on the PlayStation 5. So before we get started in today's episode, I wanted to let you guys know that there's not going to be an episode on Friday. Unfortunately, we really have to do our taxes tomorrow night. We've been putting it off for weeks now, months, and uh, just been too busy to do it. And we're getting really close to the deadline, and I don't know when we're going to do it if we don't do it tomorrow night. I only have time to record one more episode tonight, and we haven't had a Hoi 4 video this week. We already missed one. Uh, so we're going to have Hearts of Iron 4 for Friday, and I'm going to record that right after this one. So therefore, we will not have an episode of this on Friday. And we'll be back on Saturday, guys. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's episode. we got like a ton of stuff we got to do here in the beginning. Uh, first of all... We are going to convert this new county we got. They are not our faith, as they are Muslim, of course. So yeah, we're going to convert them over to Catholicism. That will likely take a long time. Conversion typically takes a while. As far as how long that's going to take, we'll have to look at it this way. So he's going to be converting incredibly slow. It would be 68 years. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that's a, a long time, guys. We'll start working on it, but uh, not anything. We I can guess do it says rush that. It says sixty-eight years right there under there as well. Uh, not really. I mean, if we had a better archbishop, I mean, he's not bad though. He's level twelve, and yet it still is taking sixty-eight years. I'm not entirely sure why it's going to take so long. We can't put the Bible in all of the taverns. Well, I mean, the nightstands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we need to do. Let's put them in the uh. Uh, a little dresser or whatever, get everybody reading it. Nobody reads that Bible, though. I mean, who goes to, you know, a, a hotel and then starts reading the Bible? I mean, maybe some people do. Uh, Sinners but do. I would, Im too. I would imagine that if you wanted to read the Bible, you would have brought it with you, though. Why do you got to read the, uh, the motel's Bible? Well, anyways, we need to do that. And then we need more more killing in this series, guys. Jinx is, is like, chomping at the bit. <laughs> she you make me sound like a monster. <laughs> Everybody already knows exactly who you are, Jinx. I am not a monster. I didn't call you a monster. I just said everybody knows who you are. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and start with... We're going to kill her. Uh, because we could just keep her in the prison. It but yeah, she doesn't cruel. She doesn't want to convert. Well, this is pretty cruel, too. Execution method. Burn at the stake. Oh, yeah. It's a horrible way to go. I suppose that's pretty bad. Yeah. But, uh, you know... She's dead now. It is. We gave her the chance to convert. You can't she... be a non-Christian woman. You're gonna get burned at the stake. Well, the dudes get burned too. Yeah, we would have burned if that was a have dude. Have we burned anyone? Uh, I think that I don't. You know, I really don't know. There's no kill list on True. this. On uh, the PC version, there's a kill list, and, and I'm sure they'll add it to this version as well, where you can see all the kills that a character has done, uh, which is really cool. You can kind of stack up your kills or whatever. And see how you you know how you killed them when you killed them so on so on, so we needed to do that, and then the other thing is our sister. She has continually been an issue over here for us, and so we're gonna go ahead and take her out. So let's go ahead and execute her and her son. If we don't get caught, he likes us a lot more. We don't have as many issues. I mean, she hates us, and she like a rival. Yeah, she's been nothing but trouble. You know, I'm not seeing the rival here. I think she just hates us because we refused that alliance with her. Remember when she asked for us to ally with her a long time ago and I told her no? No, I don't remember that. Well, it happened. And uh, that has definitely soured our relationship a bit. Yeah, we're not actually rivals, so we could improve the opinion. But it would probably just be easier to assassinate her. Did I pass it? Yeah. Ooh, a horrible chance here. So let's see if anybody's going to be willing to join it. Probably because she's a snake. Let's just take a look. Uh, we got five potential agents we can invite. Nobody joined immediately. So I think what we're going to do is move our spy master to look for secrets in her realm, which I think is this one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Let's just double check on that. Yeah, that's her. All right, the next thing we got to do, because remember, we got a lot of stuff we got to do here, guys. We got to hand out this title, which I already know who we're going to grant it to. Uh, we have a knight, or we have a uh, potential knight, I should say. He's a guest right now, and he would actually make a pretty darn good knight. It's Name's not this Sir guy. Rando. So this is who we're going to give this title to, the Zealous Maniac, guys. So 
sure it's a great va- potential vassal here. The company you keep. Uh-huh. So I was going to grant this title out to him. And he has very good prowess. He's uh, level 17 here. And he got a fancy new shirt. He's got a fancy new shirt, guys. So the last thing we need to do is we've been trying to look at our devotion level and our fame level up there on the top, and it doesn't work. If you guys remember when we click up here, it just doesn't show anything. And so we can't even see. You can see your progress. You can see how much you're getting per month, but you can't see where you're currently at. Somebody told me that you can look at it through here, and it does work. So there's your level of devotion. We are faithful. You can click on that and see what the next level you're working on, which is devoted servant. And same thing with the fame. Oops, that's the gold. We're illustrious. So we can see what benefits we're getting from that, which is a plus 10 opinion with our secular vassals and two plus knights to our limit. And the next level is exalted among men. So that's a pretty good level there. However, the renown does not work. The renown is still in the same situation. So it's not working, unfortunately. At least we can now see our devotion and fame levels, guys. All right, so I think we're good to go now, right? I think so. I don't think we forgot anything. All right, so let's gonna let it play. We got a devotion level, which I thought we had just gotten a level of devotion. So what we're gonna be using that for is we are going to declare war on this guy, and that's gonna be that holy war. And where's the declare war up here? Uh, the holy war for the duchy. Which, I want to say he just has the one duchy. Yeah. Alright, so let's go and declare war. Duchy. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to have that music. Jeez. <laughs> Get you excited. Down. And we're going to move a rally point over to here. And then we'll go ahead and raise up the troops. I'm going to figure out what button that is. <laughs> one thing I actually like about the console version over the PC version is that they haven't added the uh, uh, the change to the raising up of your troops where they have a, a quality of life button. I need to stop talking there for a minute. That thing is so loud. It feels like I was just like screaming over it. Obnoxious. Yeah, it's very obnoxious. But yeah, they have a quality of life change in the PC version where if you don't hit control when you raise your troops up, then they raise up in all the surrounding provinces in a way so that they're not taking any attrition. Uh, so you can see our 6,500 men, they can't fit there. And so it'll raise them up in any surrounding provinces. So if you have like 20,000 troops, they'll be all throughout this area here, which I really don't like because, you know, I split all my troops up and, and manage them, uh, you know, pick exactly what units are going to be in each each army. And so I really hate that they do that. So if I forget to hit control, then all my troops raise up everywhere else. And then I got to get them all in one central location to manage them. And then split them up. And again. then split them up again. Yeah. So yeah, I really don't like doing that when I, when I forget to hit the control. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? He's raising up there. We don't really want to attack and cross the river here. So we'll go this way. I assume he'll take off. Yeah. He's trying to get out of there. And he only has 25 dudes. Yeah. Like, where are the rest of his dudes? I think he might have been already at war or something. I knew he was pretty weak when we attacked him, which is one reason why we're attacking him right now. So we can't do it that way. Can we maybe go this way? There you go. He's locked into it. We should be able to attack him right there in the mountain, and this should be a quick battle, although he's going to get over this way. So we'll attack him over here instead. And uh, just get him wiped out. I'm hoping that he's leading his troops. This isn't going to give us a lot of war score here. All right, uh, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and get our troops split up now uh, because we actually have a new way of doing this. Apparently, this button here, the split off hired soldiers and special soldiers, somebody told me that that is essentially the split off new army here in the console version. That's not what that does in the PC version. But yeah, you can see the buttons are clearly switched. So I think the split off new army is actually the split off hired soldiers and special soldiers. Oh, it's just labeled wrong. Yeah. And that this is actually the split off new army. So I think it's just broken. I mean, it's clearly broken. That's got to be what's what's going on here. Uh, so yeah, we're going to create some, some sieging armies, guys. And he does have allies that have about 2,000 men or so. So we'll keep our sieging armies about 2,000. And let's go ahead and I guess we'll give him a, a commander real quick. Let's see who would be a good leader of these guys. Gaston. 
We want somebody who has... You see how Bernardino here, Bernardino has that little trait there with the catapult? That says that he's going to be good at sieges. I think we can look at that here. Maybe. I saw a brown square. Okay, we can't look at it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx can't see shit. I'm so blind. It, it doesn't help that, you know... While it's, it's, the text isn't that bad size-wise here on the console, you know, you're, you're playing on your couch, so you're kind of a distance from the TV. And I'm just so blind. <laughs> and Jinx is really blind. She needs new glasses. It's been like a long time since Yeah. you got a new pair of One glasses. One of these days, I'll get around no, to it. No, it ain't never going to happen. <laughs> Alright, so this army will just be 1,500, guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and give them a commander, and we will select just this guy here. And with this army, we're going to want to chase down wherever his allies are. I don't know where they're at. So I guess we'll just go here. And then we'll support these two armies. And we'll just take out these two locations. Yeah, I don't know where his uh, troops are. They ran off. They're scared. I mean, his allies' troops. I don't even know who his allies is, though. So I guess we could take a peek at that real quick. I would assume it's a cousin. <laughs> okay, we'd have to look at it this way here. Uh, through the worm piece and then see who his allies are oh he's got a couple allies okay I see so he actually has a couple allies and they're coming from kind of far away as well are they even coming they might I would assume so yeah you can see that one just joined so yeah he just joined the war right now and he's all the way over here so he's not gonna get here anytime soon if he even sends troops. He might be uh, fighting a war already. So yeah, I'm not too concerned about their allies then. Uh, we could actually start a third siege in that case then with the other, with the men in arms. Alright, so these two sieges, we're looking at five months or four months now. And uh, like a little over a month for that one. So let's go and send these guys over here to... You know, I don't want them that far away from the troops there. And we need to make sure they have... Well, they do have supply there. Yeah, I guess they'll go over there. Again, we really don't have to worry about protecting these siege armies because I don't think anybody's coming. I think we'll be able to easily take this guy out after having beaten 25 dudes. We got a hostage. We got a hostage. Got some money from that as well. Uh, so as far as where we're at on the war, we're at 51%. That hostage is worth 10%. So must I, be important. Was it a he? I thought it was a she. Oh, I thought it was a dude. It might have been. Like, it looks like we got a dude and a woman. Okay, so... I'm not sure who the woman is. I was thinking that was his wife, but clearly not. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how she's related. Your sister has a secret lover. Okay, so this will be useful to know. Alfonso, what? No, wait a minute. That can't be right. That can't be right. I mean, they can be lovers. Yes. That is they are, That's probably why she hates us so much. Because what we did to our brother and her lover. Wow. It happens. Siblings. And the plot thickens. Yep. Siblings will sometimes have relationships in CK. As they did in real life. As gross as that is. Wow. Well, that was interesting. I we should am have, shocked. We should have killed Alfonso. That's who we should have killed. We'll take her out first. Yeah, let's just, this will be even worse. We're going to take out his lover first, and then we'll kill him. <laughs> Maybe I'll kill all his children, too. Aren't his kids not that bad? No, I'm just saying because they no, would... Not just because. Yeah. They would inherit his claims, not technically, because he doesn't have any claims, but, you know, they would assume that they would have claims in our roleplay fashion here. Uh, so this is Oso getting his next trait, which looks like... He just got the lazy trait. Oh. That's a horrible one to have. So we might want to take a little bit of stress to change it. Uh, so we can change it over to Craven or uh, Arbitrary. Because he's being bullied. Yeah. Oh, man. The fucking Eastman guy. Let's kill him. Well, lazy is a horrible <laughs> trait to have, as is Craven. That's a really bad one. Arbitrary's, you know, it's not a good trait, uh, but it has some benefits. You get increased intrigue. A uh, good bonus to the stress gain, natural, natural dread. dread, 
vassals don't like you and you, you take a hit to learning and stewardship, but I feel like that's better than these other two options. So we'll take the stress guys and make him arbitrary. I do want to take a look at who his bully is though. Cause that'll be in here. Yeah, there's his bully. That guy? Yeah, this little kid. This rowdy little kid. I was gonna say, how's he bullying him when he's Anglo-Saxon? I was thinking he's over there in England, <laughs> uh, but he's probably that that knight son that we brought over here. So we oh, brought that knight over here, wow. and now his son is bullying our son. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No respect. Nope. I mean, it's not like he's exactly accountable for the actions of his son. Are you not? <laughs> You know, I mean, kids are, are kids, you know, they're, they bully each other and, you know, you can try and stop it, but you're not going to always be there. Yeah, but the son is a reflection of the father. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of sons are nothing like their, their fathers. Oso does need to toughen up, though. He does. Yeah, if he's going to be named a bear. He's going to be named after a bear. And go punch him in the face. Exactly. Uh, so this one here is going to get us four more knights. So very helpful. It's the King's Guard. That's a nice bonus. Now we're gonna have to go start going down this route on the left. We've gotten all the ones on the route on the right route. So you're gonna be a ladies' man now. Yep, that'll be what we're doing next. <laughs> he raised up two more dudes, <laughs> and we are no longer sick. Nice. All right, I was a little worried about that because we have not dealt with our children yet, and so that could have been a serious issue for us. Uh, they would have ended up inheriting. You know, all that territory we have, it would have been split up between our sons, and our own son probably wouldn't have gotten much. I guess he would have got the three uh, counties that's in the duchy title. Uh, so, discipline and loyalty. Is this the actual assassination? No, we're not even close to that. That's seven years away. Uh, so, do you want to read it, Jinx? Knowing how soldiers act around each other and noticing how freely information and rumor flows, I am struck by an idea. If some of my own soldiers were to infiltrate Countess Soraka's army, they might offer a different insight into her plans. So if we were to do this, we'd get the soldier source modifier on this. It would decrease secrecy, which obviously is not good. Increase scheme power and increase the scheme success chance. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like we need to get some scheme success chance, guys. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and gamble with it. Yeah, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, guys. Uh, soldiers, of course, are going to run their mouth. That's the one negative there. Yeah. Reducing the secrecy. That they do. Mm-hmm. Well, once we get some money, we'll try and hire some agents. Obviously, we're at war right now, so we need the money to pay for our troops. In fact, we're about to go in the negative. But I think the war will be over here in mere moments, so... All those hooks are expiring that we got ten years ago. Uh, it looks like somebody's about to attack these guys. I think he's retreating over there, though. I don't even think, I think he's in a separate war right now. Or something. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, guys. There's just dudes running all over the Yeah, place. there's just dudes everywhere. Uh, so, let's take a look and see where we're at on winning the war. We're at 72%, so still going to need probably at least these two sieges. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do another one. Just in case that's not enough. This siege here is just about done, as is the other one. So I think this is going to be enough, guys. We, we already have days. enough, um, but this one's done in 15 days, so we might as well wait. Uh, yeah, these guys don't actually need to go over there, because the war will be over here soon. As soon as that siege is up, we'll end it. You're just taking a tour of the new mm -hmm. lands. Alright, so let's go ahead and end the conflict, and it's going to give us this entire duchy. And also increase our devotion here. Uh, so let's go ahead and disband our troops. We got pay farm anymore because we are broke. And look at that. We've gotten an additional five counties that we now have to hand out to somebody. <laughs> uh, that's the one negative here. Uh, so yeah, we'll want to give out... We, we have the duke title. So we might want to go ahead and make somebody a duke over here. Like a powerful duke that would be loyal to us. I don't know who we'd give all that to though. Are they going to need to be converted? Who? Uh, the, the territory? Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming this is all... Yeah, all this is Muslim. I wonder if we'd be able to convert over here any faster. Probably not, but we could take a look at that real quick. Uh, just move him and see if he can convert there any faster. I doubt it. Or it won't be much faster. 
let's just take a look. Because, yeah, that 68 years is is ridiculous. Uh, I'm not actually seeing the amount of years here for these. I probably have to actually change them. But you can see how much progress you'd make. These are all in the negative. Yeah, these are in the negatives. And a big part of it is the fervor, guys. The fervor for their faith is so high. And this is a issue that has since been rebalanced. And so it's not as difficult to convert. Yeah, over here, like, that's why it's taking so long. We're at negative 0.09. Oh, it's not even... so highly resistant to the change. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they have such high fervor, so they're just not interested in converting. Uh, so in the current PC version of the game, you're a lot less likely to see this. Fervor has been overall rebalanced quite a bit. It's completely different in the current version. They've made a lot of improvements to it. Just the game overall has been improved vastly since it was launched back in, what, 2020? Is that when it launched? Or 2021? Really? I don't remember. a long time ago. I think it was 2020 is when it launched. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get all these handed out. I don't know who we're going to give them to. I guess we can take a look at our knights, see if there's anybody deserving. We now have 13 knights. That's a lot of knights. Uh, so these guys all have positions already. Uh, this guy doesn't. Bermudu. Yeah, we can give him a position. Yeah, I think we'll promote him. So his kid can bully ours too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got another knight over here we could give a title to, so we'll probably give it to him. If these are all good Christians, they are. So we have two knights to give titles to over here. But that's it. Hmm. I'm not sure who else we'd give a, a title to, guys. We would eventually want to give a title to our son, but not until after he... Uh, comes of age is I typically wait until they come of age before I, I give them a title because children have a lot of issues uh, especially in like a duke title where they have vassals and stuff see so yeah, I wouldn't want to do that yet yeah I think we ought to wait until he's old enough and we really can't afford to hold on to any more titles so we're gonna have to get rid of these uh, so we can give two of those up to them and uh, I guess what else we could do is send for more knights although we can't do that until 1090. All right. So that's unfortunate. I guess we can look inside our uh, court, see if there's anybody good here guest-wise that we might want to give a title to. Who's this guy? Fernando. Fernando. He's a zealot. Yeah, he might try and convert there. He's lustful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we'll give Fernando a title as well. Let me see if there's any more. We're looking for five guys, or we might just have to give some titles out to, uh, or give like multiple titles out to, to one guy. Because, yeah, otherwise, I don't know how we're going to come up with this many people. We just don't have enough guests. So, yeah, we'll give uh, those knights, maybe give each of them two titles or something like that. Uh, and then we also have like the, the guys over here. Like, if we wanted to give like Gashed On, if we wanted to give him an additional title. We can give him, like, this neighboring one, and then give him the duchy, for instance. Sure. How old is he? Oh, he's 59, though. Something to consider. He doesn't have any children, so we'd all inherit it again. That seems like a good way to do it. Does just give him a, a bunch of... Does he have a gay lover? Hmm? Does he have a gay lover? Yeah, he does. You can see up there at the top that he's gay. He's homosexual. Uh, that's a treacherous villain. I'm trying to click on the... There we go. Oops. So you can see he is homosexual. So it's it's kind of difficult to see it. But yeah, it does show their sexual preference. Well, it's nice his lover didn't leave him after his face fell off. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, very loyal. And they're both older guys. So yeah, I suppose we can give it to him because he's probably not going to have any children. So everything we give to him would eventually go to us. That's true. So yeah, maybe we'll just give him like these two titles here and the duchy title. And then give these three titles to those those characters that we had identified earlier. Yeah, Sounds that's how we do it. Yeah, that'll work. All right, excellent. We figured it out, guys. Although one bad thing about giving those knights this title is that I didn't think about that. They would be under him rather than us. Oh. So they wouldn't be our knights anymore. So you probably wouldn't want to give that to them, or you lose your knights. Yeah, I didn't think about that fact. All right, well... Sorry, Gaston. <laughs> we can still give Gaston these titles. Oh, we just can't give... We we wouldn't be able to give these to the knights. To the knights. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to give them to, like, those people in our court, like Fernando. Uh, Fernando will get some titles here. He seems nice. 
So yeah, we'll give him maybe if I can get through here. I'm trying to give him trying to get on the map here. We'll give him this one. And then uh I don't know who we're gonna give the other two titles to. There you go, beautiful. So that's one title given out. He loved that. Mm-hmm. Let me just take a look at these titles and well, see. He kind of looks like Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> <laughs> does he? Let me see. Here. He does <laughs> a little bit. I mean, I am also blind, but <laughs> yeah, a little bit. He looks a little bit like him. Yeah, we'll just give these two out to. I don't even know, man. Just random people, I suppose. Like, who wants some land? Who wants some land? Basically, yeah. It's a bummer we can't recruit knights, but again, it wouldn't it'd be irrelevant anyway because we can't get these to him. Now, I guess you don't have to get the duchy title out, but we're getting a penalty right now because I think we're we're holding too many duchy titles at the moment. Uh, this guy, why not? He's, He's an, an honorable, honorable lackey. lackey. <laughs> we'll give him a title as well. He won't be our vassal. So at this point, we're just trying to find anybody who's willing to take some land. <laughs> just take the land. Give me levies and taxes. That's all I care about. I'll take some land. You want this title, Jinx? Yes. Well, we can't give it to ladies in this game. Boo. <laughs> Unless they already have a title. Or they're set to inherit a title from you. Uh, do we look at this guy? What's wrong with him? He's actually really good. Is he new? I don't think so. No, I think he was there before. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't see him before. We'll grant him this title. Because he's lurking around in the shadows. Alright, there we go. Suspicious. Alright, so we'll grant him that title. And you know, I always wanted to reward Gaston with more. I, I had wanted to give him an extra county, but we gave him this one over here and there wasn't anything in the area. Alright, so we're going to grant him these two titles here. Plus the Duchy of Aragon. Let me see here. Do we not have the Duchy of Aragon? I thought we hit we had taken it. There's Leon. There's Castile. You don't huh. see Aragon. Yeah, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't have it. Alright. Let me let this play a second. Uh, we were able to sway Pedro. So Pedro actually likes us now. Remember he was a steward who for a long time didn't really like us all that much. It and he took likes us, us a long time. Mm-hmm. To get him, uh, too many gifts. Yep, to get him to, to favor us. He likes us now. We should probably make our, our doctor like us. Maybe that's why he gave us such a crappy treatment last time. Literal crap. Yeah, little, literally <laughs> crap. He rubbed crap on our chest. I mean, you let him. <laughs> True. Like, okay, doctor, it's kind of weird. What's that stuff that you can rub on your chest? Vicks? Yeah, the Vicks. Vapor yeah, room. maybe he's trying to do something like that. Yeah, uh -huh. maybe. But we won't be granting him the Duchy title. So we could have given these titles out to uh, those knights. Eh, that doesn't matter. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, we could also make that Duchy title, I suppose, and give it to him. Uh, a faction was created against us, just a populist faction. So not a problem. Uh, let's go and speed this up and uh, get ourselves some money here. We're kind of limited right now because we are broke broke and what our goal here is going to be uh, she's saying she can't find any more secrets now what you might want to do is let this run a couple more times uh, now there is a part of the text here where it says however I still believe there's something going on in the shadows I, I only need a little more time to determine what that is I'm not sure how that works. I've had some people tell me that if it says that, then there's still secrets there. Well, if they say there's nothing there, then there's nothing. I don't know. I've found secrets even when it said there wasn't. I say let it run a couple times because you're not guaranteed to find the secret just because there's secrets there. Uh, so you can let it run a few times and, and maybe she'll find something. So we're going to let it run it at least one more time. I mean, I don't know how she could find anything juicier. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty juicy... Oh, we didn't even use that either. We got it and then didn't use it. Uh, so this is Gaston. And uh, it's the event on the march. At the end of the field exercise, it had seemed a brilliant idea. To practice regrouping an army in disarray, I split my troops and ordered every officer to independently make their way to Burgos. Of course, by the third day of waiting, but with only half of my army in place, I am now seeing flaws in the plan. Count Gaston suggests I ride with a contingent of knights to find the missing troops, while the rest of the army returns home. 
All right, so we can say this will be an exciting search. Might be able to get a martial lifestyle point. Or we can just give him charge, which we will not be doing. Is this not an assassination attempt? No, that's not the assassination event. That's the lifestyle event. He's like, yeah, come ride with me. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to get us out in, in the middle of nowhere and take us out. So our ally is apparently declaring a holy, bro, a holy war to conquer Valencia. So we'll accept that. Though I doubt we'll actually participate in it. Uh, I'm not trying to strengthen him, honestly. Because he's eventually going to be an enemy. We're going to have to conquer him. So here's the next On the March event, if you want to read it, Jinx. As I am passing through a small village, I notice that, though clad in a simple cloth, the town's guards are all carrying weapons with my mark on them. Welcoming, welcoming me in the muddy street was Valido, the self-proclaimed divine guardian of the town. My soldiers laid down their armor to help this preach. <laughs> this... Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Help this preaches serve God. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think that makes I sense. I just thought I couldn't read good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes there's some some uh, localization errors. Uh, so we can go with, I already rule by divine right. We'll gain 150 prestige, but we'll get some negative modifier for five years. I guess we can take a look and see what that is. It's going to be a negative 10 to the accuracy vassal opinion, so. Yeah, because that's pretty full of yourself. So this one is you have a day to flee this place, Zealot. And we're going to lose an opinion with this character here. I think that's who this is. Yeah, Belito. We'll spend 50 piety. Instead we say, they will grow tired of playing holy soldiers soon enough. Uh, we'll abandon our search and return home, but we'll lose some stress. Or you can instead say, join me, preacher. We will enact God's will together, which is available because of that trait we have. And then he'll join our court. And let's take a look, see if we want him to join our court. He looks really terrible. <laughs> yeah, he's he's horrible. I mean, he's got good traits, like gregarious, brave, and, and zealous. But look at his skills. He's like maybe one of the yeah. worst characters I've ever seen in CK3. <laughs> this guy is horrible. Yeah, I don't see why he'd want to do that. He's kind of useless. I think we should... I mean, we can't even have a jester. You know, I want to go with this for the, the stress loss, but it says that we abandoned the search. And so I almost feel like we should just go with uh, this option here and get the penalty. Yeah, we'll go with that one. And, you know, we'll lose some opinion with the any theocratic rulers, but that's fine. All right, so we've joined this war, which we will not be participating in. I'm not going to help him. Because I, I really don't want him getting any stronger. So this is the next on the march event. Approaching a lake, I spot a camp pitched on its shores. As I enter it, I am met by the sergeant in charge. My lord, our water stores leaked while on the move, and our pack animals cannot make the march home without more water than we currently have. The soldier looks at me nervously. If the lord and his knights helped carry water skins, however... Oh. The lord and his knights helped carry water skins? Oh. So if, <laughs> So we can have the, the disgrace of carrying water for mules, spending 75 prestige... Instead, we say the men will march, and they will march now. And uh, that's going to give us a negative penalty oh, it's in our for capital. The mules? It's for the mules. I'll carry water over some mules, but I'm a pet. I feel like we have to do that because, yeah, I don't want to just quit. So we'll go with this one, guys, because this one I think is going to be horrible. It's probably going to be a levy reduction. Yeah, 10% levy reduction. So, yeah, it's just better to take the prestige loss. We've got plenty of prestige. They just go home. <laughs> like, screw this guy. Yeah. They start deserting. He won't even carry water. <laughs> I can hear an absolute ruckus coming from a roadside tavern. One of my knights kicks open the door, revealing a room full of my wayward soldiers. My rival makes them fall silent and stare down into their tankards and nary a word between them. The proprietor narrows his eyes, so you're responsible for this rabble. Like I say, I've got coin enough to pay for the damages. No, we don't. <laughs> 55 gold. Uh, instead, we say, these men have the right idea. Pour me a drink. We'll spend 75 prestige. Or we can just give up again. What are we searching for? I'm sure it told us on the, in the front of the know. event. I don't even know either. A holy grail. Yeah, that's got to be what it is. So yeah, we'll, we'll do this one. Just spend more of our prestige, I guys. I need a drink. Uh, but yeah, I feel like we're we're 
devoted towards this now. When my outriders brought news of the little encampment, I did not expect to find the soldiers still practicing their battle formations. It seems that my vassal Count Gaston took it upon himself to continue the field exercises while waiting for word from the main army. His troops line up neatly as I ride up to meet him. So we can get mad at him, say those were not the orders I gave, and we'll lose opinion with him. Instead, we can say, what is this shoddy stance? That's no way to hold a sword. And uh, now we'll get the over, is that overworked soldiers? We'll lose some advantage for five years. Obviously not a good thing. Or we can just quit it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. But we're going to go on forever. Yeah, we'll just have to insult him. I mean, he just gave him all those titles, so I don't think he'll mind. All right, so this is the carpet event. I don't know if we've seen the opposite where somebody else has tried to grant us a carpet before. I think so. And uh, this is the event that they were, they're getting here. And it's basically you're giving them a carpet to conceal the steps of a bumbling agent. So we can grant it to her. And if we do, a murder scheme will progress and we'll get a modifier here which will increase the monthly prestige of her while also reducing her hostile scheme resistance. Or she might think that something's off and not accept it, in which case she'll actually get hostile scheme resistance increased. Which is probably what she's going to do. If she's though. smart, yeah. I kind of feel like she wouldn't do that. I think we should... Oh, well, we don't want to keep it. That'll reduce <laughs> our own. Yeah, we'll just grant it to her, and we'll see what she says. Yeah, she suspected something off. Not surprising at all. We finally finished the On the March event here, if you want to read it, Jinx. The last of my troops have made it back to Burgos, and order has been restored. Though this was hardly a display of military brilliance, I have gained a new perspective on my army and the individual soldiers of which it is composed. So I think this was just a training march. I don't think we are looking for anything. They kept saying, like, our search continues. <laughs> but I think we were just training or something. Oh, uh, we were looking for the lost guys. Maybe. We, we were clearly getting valuable uh, experience though because we got the martial lifestyle perk all right so we'll go ahead and invest that now and we already know we're going to be getting the courtship which is going to make us better at romancing and eloping all right excellent so progressing down that tree nicely it looks like he might be winning the war without us which is good for him um, i was didn't know if he was Expecting me to help or not? Somebody just died in our dungeon. Yeah, he's <laughs> the one who went over and took took over uh, Ibiza to party on. Uh, we probably should take a look at our prisoners here. I forgot we had people in here after that war. They just dying in our prison. All right, well we'll try and ransom her, but I don't want just a hook. She can convert or die. Essentially, we'll take the hook as well. Yeah, she's willing to accept it. He's like, yeah, that's fine. This guy here is okay. He might be a decent knight. But yeah, we'll just convert him instead. Unless he refuses, which he does not. Alright, so we'll just we eventually just convert all of them. And our wife is pregnant oh again. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop looking at her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know that's not how you get pregnant, right? It's not just a look. <laughs> Uh, a countess to scare a local mystic with dubious morals and a fabricated omen. Perfect. Before the mystic leaves for Countess Haraka's court, there's but one question. Will my false omen be one of fortune or of doom? All right, so we could do a bad omen, which would then get this modifier for 10 years. She'll have a, a health penalty. Or we could do a good omen, which would then get her a health boost. I assume there's something good here. Our murder scheme will progress if we did that one. What about this one? Does this also gain progress? This one also gains progress. Yeah, I suppose you want to get rid of her. So you probably want the bad omen in that case. Yeah, we'll just do the bad omen. Okay, mm-hmm. She spends many sleepless nights worrying. Good. All right, well, we have some money, guys. And so if we ever want to get this done, we're going to need to invite somebody. You know what? There's nobody willing to work against her. Not terrified of She's her or something. Scary, yeah. Uh, or they just need some bribes. Well, it doesn't look like that's the case. Yeah, I was thinking maybe like they just wanted an amount we didn't have. I don't think we're ever gonna be able to complete the assassination against her. Uh, so yeah, we already kind of know about the incest, which we didn't do anything about that. I keep forgetting. All right, so we must condemn such an a holy, an unholy union. So we learn of her 
incest seeker, but we already knew that. Uh, so let's oops, let's go in here and figure out what we want to do with this. Where is your brother these days? Uh, we had looked at him. Yeah, I think the last time we saw him, uh, he was in Italy. I think he was in Croatia, which Croatia oh. just lost territory, by the way. I think he was in Croatia, if I'm not mistaken. Last time we looked at him, I don't know if he's still over there. I guess we could take a peek real quick. Um, now he's over here. He's coming back. Yeah, he's in uh, Venice, actually. Okay, so he's moved a, a little bit. He's probably a guest moving around courts. I assume I didn't he's see a him. Bum. Yeah, he's a bum. Yeah, I don't see him having any positions or anything. So yeah, I think he's just a uh, yeah, he's just a guest moving around. Uh, so we need to go into the intrigue here. And figure out what we want to do with all these hooks that we have. Uh, or secrets, I should say. So we know about uh, Gaston's lover. And so we can blackmail him for that. For a hook and then change up his... That's what I think we will do, actually. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. You gonna do him dirty like that? Yeah, he'll be upset. Um, but we have such a high opinion with him, Jinx. We gave him all those titles. There's gotta be a cost to it, Jinx. So we'll blackmail him. I know it's awful. What is he going to give you? Another hook on somebody else? No. I'll show you what we're going to do on this. This is something that I haven't shown yet, so I've been wanting to, to show it. Uh, and then over here, we'd want to blackmail him for a hook to see if we can't get her lover to act against her. Although, oh, that's our brother, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I guess we could still blackmail him for a hook. <laughs> and we'll blackmail her for a hook, too. But she has the two separate hooks that we can blackmail her for. This one's a strong hook, though, so we'll do that one. So yeah, we'll just blackmail everybody. Everyone. Everybody's getting blackmailed. All right, so we did get one on Gashon. Let's wait for these other ones to get accepted. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with these hooks. And we're just waiting for... Uh, there's the lover one, Alfonso. So we're waiting on the one other character. I guess we don't have to wait on that one. So what we're going to do with that... With those hooks there. So with her it's a strong hook. Which means we don't lose it. We just use it. And then it's uh, like a 10 year cooldown. Before we can use it again. And what we want to do. Just looking for it here. Is modify the feudal contract. So I don't think we've shown this yet. So these are the taxes. That the characters pay in. These are the levies. And these are like special rights they have. And whenever you move something in your favor. So let's say we increase taxes. That's tyrannical. But you can instead give something in exchange, so let's say we have lower levies, and then that's fine, and it's no problem. So basically you're giving her something in exchange for something else. But if you have a hook, then you can just take something without it being tyrannical. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to increase her taxes here, uh, which will result in us getting a little bit more money, and she'll have less money. And uh, that will last for the anybody who has this title. So... Now you can only modify somebody's contract once in your lifetime, but we can use that strong hook again later once the cooldown finishes up. You just um, gotta remind them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I know what you did last summer. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna do the same with thing your brother. with your brother. So we're gonna do the same thing to him and increase his feudal taxes. And I like doing the feudal taxes because levies kind of suck, honestly. It's, it's nice to have more levies, of course, and it's great to reduce the amount of levies they have because that's important when it comes to factions. But yeah, I, I want the money, honestly, even if it's just a little bit. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and modify this using the hook. All right, excellent. And with that, we got the trophy for fine print. And this is one of our friends here. There are a few things I enjoy more than Count Gutierrez's company. We spent an evening bothering the servantry, needling them about every small mistake, and complaining about every detail. Who knew that petty acts of torment truly was a way of, of easing a troubled mind? After this short break, I was once again ready to take on my duties. I'm ready to have a friend like Count Gutierrez. Alright, so we, we lost some stress because he hanged out with our friend. Tormenting the servants, which is horrible. <laughs> Let me see, what, what is this notification about here? I keep getting the notifications in the military thing, and I'm not entirely sure what they're about. 
Yeah, I'm not sure why we get those. Maybe it's because we're at war or something. We can raise our troops up. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we can also ask our head of faith for gold. So let's go and do that because we're like super broke right now. And we can arrest the mayor. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think that's it. Low county control in uh, Lisbon. So we should we should fix that, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and appoint him if he's not already, which he's not, to increase control over here. All right, excellent. All right, so we just got that money, and we also arrested the mayor here, Justice. All right, so I guess we're going to have to end the episode here. We have one thing I wanted to do before we do that, and let's just try and spend this money here on our capital. I'm sure there's something we can either build or improve. Yeah, it's nice they just gave you all that money. Mm -hmm, yeah, that's uh, one of the advantages of being Catholic, that we can ask our uh, head to pay for gold. So it looks like we need to improve this one, the Hunter's Lodge. So we'll go ahead and improve it to the next level, which will get us some more money, more advantage when we're defending there, more levies, more bonuses, all that kind of good stuff. All right, excellent. Uh, and it looks like we still have more money. If we want to improve something, you know what we should do? We should save up our money to build that church over here in Santiago. I'm never going to remember. We're going to put a note <laughs> for next episode uh, that we need to save up for the church. And we can see if we can invite anybody, but yeah, we've had like no success in any of the events. That's 150 gold. That's pricey. It is, but he has given a lot of points there to help us. So we'll do that because we're never going to get this done otherwise. I, honestly, I kind of feel like this isn't worth the effort, though. Because, I mean, she's 56 years old. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's not yeah. worth the effort. And we got a strong hook on her, too, which means she can't operate against us anymore. So that should have canceled her faction. She's not actually in the faction. He is. And he's doing it for her. Oh. So this is the guy operating against us, Count Vermudo. Our guy? The rando guy that you gave land to? Yeah, the one I just gave land to. Wow. The zealous maniac. Wow. Yep. What a prick. <laughs> yeah, we just gave him a title. Uh, but you know what? He's a zealous maniac. You, you can't really predict what he was going to do. <laughs> uh, so unfortunately, that will have to be the end of today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, next episode, we're going to try and get this church built over here, and uh, we'll also probably declare war on one of these Muslim countries using some piety once we get it. Uh, I don't know which one yet. Either over here, although I think Barcelona will already own that. Maybe over here then instead, or over here. We'll take a look at uh, how their numbers look. So we'll do that war next episode as we continue the conquest of all of Iberia. Which remember, that video will not be on Friday. The next episode will be on Saturday. So I'll see you then, and thanks for watching.